What'd you say, Honky? Well, good afternoon, everybody. Hey, you know, off-grid living is not always the most glamorous thing in the whole wide world. Yeah, you know, a few months back I had my well pump give out on me for the fifth time in a row, which, you know, wouldn't have been a bad thing. These things have been lasting me for two years. Up until recently, I purchased um, three or four of these in a row uh and they've just been given out you know maybe a month of service and that was it you know previously i was getting two years which for 80 bucks a pump i was willing to buy these things for like the rest of my life but china got cheap and started producing two different types of these you don't know which one is which uh, some of them were good some of them were not and so i was getting a whole bunch of ones that weren't good uh, so I purchased a different pump and here's the controller for it and the pump itself came in a nice little box uh, Seemed to be a lot better quality. I certainly paid a lot more money for it I think it was around 270 bucks for the pump itself had to wait a little while for it to come in uh, And I had some problems with this thing when I was setting it up. It's been working now for several months months uh, There's my well head there and uh, uh, Got it out of here by my solar array uh, so I've, I've been operating this pump for several months and it seems to be working really good I've been really happy with it. It took a little bit of a challenge to get this thing hooked up correctly If you notice here, I've got uh, Got like five wires or more than that actually. Let me see how many We've got uh, no these are these wires are coming for, from my power to my pump So I've got one two three four five wires going to the pump and uh, three wires are power wires and these other two little wires here these little speaker wires. It's all I had this is actually going to the to the to the low water uh, uh, alarm um, or, or sensors that, that shuts the pump down on low water because you don't want to run this particular type of pump which is a progressive cavity pump uh, Something I've never heard before. It's very strange Design, but it works excellent, especially for these low voltage or excuse me low wattage applications and low voltage um, But the pump was advertised as 24 volt uh, But it wouldn't run on 24 volt battery system. And you see here. It's got the little tick mark that they took off um, for 24 volts This will not run off batteries directly Okay, it says right there. Do not run dry big letters uh, This thing uh, when I would hook it to the batteries uh, kept giving me a low power light uh would pump for a few seconds a low power light would come on it would sit there and wait for five minutes it would try to kick back on low power again so it just wasn't doing it and so uh that got me to thinking that well maybe this thing's just made to just hook to solar panels only and in fact that's exactly what this was meant to do the only problem is i'm pumping into a pressure tank and the pressure tank uh needs to you know turn the pump on and then pressure up and then turn the pump off and so that's hard to do off of just solar um i mean i guess i could have pulled it off but then it would have only pumped during the day and i would have been without water at nighttime. so i had to come up with a solution i've only got 24 volt battery system i could have made a an additional um battery system of 36 volts in fact i ran it for a few weeks off of 36 volts while i was waiting for some parts to come in i had three batteries in series and i was charging them one at a time with a 12 volt battery charger and that seemed to work pretty good uh for you know like i said until i got my parts and but i had to come up with a better solution than that so my idea was my idea was basically to 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 get what um either a transformer or what's called a buck converter and so the buck converter itself is an interesting little device it'll take a 24 volt dc bump it up into 36 volt or whatever you buy your buck converter you know whatever voltages you buy it for and of course this came from china as well so i had to wait a couple weeks for that to come in but uh it solved my problem and uh, it was either going to be that or a transformer so i went ahead and went with the uh the buck converter it's working beautifully so far i know it's one more component that can go wrong in between the you know uh you know between all the different components the pump and the control box now i have a buck converter you know whereas before it was just a straight dc pump and of course the those dc pumps the diaphragm ones they mimic the uh the pumps that uh, would 
are American made by SureFlow. I'm assuming they're American made. I don't know, maybe they're European made. Maybe they're made in China, but they're just made really well. I don't know. But the SureFlows cost around 1200 bucks now. Uh, they used to be around 600 bucks, and they've gone up quite a bit. So they're just price prohibitive. They're excellent pumps. They last for years and years, but I'm not paying $1,200 for a pump. So in the meantime, I guess I'm just suffering like crazy. The hell's going on over there? That's the whole thing with with uh, <clears throat> with pumps nowadays. You know, you you can spend a ton of money for a really high quality Grunfoss and probably not have to deal with it for years and years. I don't ever seem to have that kind of money on hand. So then I go with these cheap Chinese brands and some, you know, it's kind of like a roll of the dice. You get a win every now and then, and now and then, every now and then, you get a loss. But one thing's for sure, guys, I'll, I will definitely keep you updated on how this pump is performing and whether or not I would recommend it to you guys or not. Currently, it seems to be working pretty good. I only had it in there for about, I don't know, maybe five, six months. So time will tell. Time always tells the tale. So, I mean, if I get two years out of it, I'll be happy. But for 179 bucks, I'm expecting more like three or four years. And if I get four years out of it, I'll be ecstatic. Um, I think that would be worth $175 or $179 investment. Like I, was before, like I said before, the other pumps were giving me about, you know, two years, almost exactly two years to the day um, on, on my very first two pumps that were made by uh, um, the Seaflow company. And, um, but th their quality is just so sketchy. The windings, in fact, on the motors were actually different uh, from one motor to the next. And uh, and some motors, the windings would burn up because the pump was getting overstressed. And then next thing you know, uh, the windings were were so much smaller that um, that they couldn't take the heat, and then it would just burn up. So um, yeah, I don't know who's making these pumps, and there's probably a lot of different manufacturers of them. They seem to have a lot of the same parts. But a few of the parts are different. Uh, they were selling rebuild kits for a while, and they no longer are. Um, cause I thought about just rewinding one of the pumps, get some America made, uh, brushes and kind of, you know, Americanizing, you know, a, a version of one of these pumps and have it last for, you know, you know, five or six years, hopefully maybe, but I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll keep exploring that option. Uh, haven't taken that off the table yet, but you know, pumping water is very important for off grid, obviously. And if you're lucky enough to have a well, a lot of my neighbors do not have wells, um, you know, the pumps and all of the accoutrements that go along with it are something that is just, you know, it's one more thing that you have to keep track of, uh, you know, when you're living off grid and, and it can be a hassle. And so, um, but you know, I, I've, I've tried, uh, a few different options. I, I've actually tried the AC pumps. I had an AC pump on my system for, I think about a year. It worked pretty good. I, I didn't mind it except for the fact in the winter time, it was really hard. Uh, it drew a lot of power and, um, and I think ultimately it was pretty, it was pretty hard on the inverter. Now, if I could get some kind of a soft start, maybe AC pump that would work off of 110, you know, around 800 to a thousand Watts, I think, I think that might be a really good option, you know, but I just currently haven't been able to find anything like that, that, uh, that fits that bill because most AC pumps, uh, well, they're very inefficient motors for one, and they, they use a ton of power to get them started. And, and that's just really hard on the inverter. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've thought of doing several different things, perhaps even putting like condensers in between uh, the battery and the inverter, you know, for that initial heavy current draw to get that thing started. But, you know, ultimately I just, um, I just kind of gave up on the idea of the AC pump, at least for now. I know some of my neighbors use them. They use them with generators. They'll fire up the generator. They'll run the generator for 10, 15 minutes. They'll fill a big reservoir and then they'll use a smaller pump to pressurize their, their house. And that seems to work good for them. I didn't set my system up like that initially. So, that's not how I do things. And besides my pump, like I said, it has a real slow output. So um, I needed a pump that would pump slowly. And so there's a unique set of circumstances that I'm working around that a lot of people probably wouldn't have to encounter or, or, or navigate around. But uh, but for me, it has to be a pump that does not pump a whole lot, it, you know, that uses low voltage and low current um, requirements, uh, these types of things. Um, because, uh, 
you know, uh, you know, my low water, my, my low power, um, you know, uh, system that I have. And so, uh, but yeah, we'll just wait and see. This seems like the perfect pump so far, uh, aside from the fact that there's a lot of components in between the pump and the batteries, you know, 